What's up, everybody? It's your boy Sanchez405 coming at you. It's on the warpath. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime there's new content posted to the channel. And as always, like, comment, share this video. I would greatly appreciate it because it's Washington football team news all the time here. And we have some big news that came out on Friday. Dan Snyder, cue the lightning, has complete and total control of our football team and this franchise as he has acquired the remaining 40% from his minority partners, Dwight Shaw, Robert Rothman, Fred Smith, Smith, the father of Atlanta head coach Arthur Smith, and the CEO of FedEx. Who, who knows? We may have another name change coming to the stadium. Will it be FedEx Field? How long will it be? Not really sure. But Schefter reported that he has acquired it, and it really started to unfold back on the 24th as Tyler Dunn reported from Go Long that he was going, Dan Snyder was going to approach the NFL Financial Committee to get a $450 million debt waiver to help finance this purchase i wish i had a debt waiver to <laughs> finance some of my purchases but either which way uh, the new york times also reported that this total cost of this uh, acquisition was about 800 million dollars and jason lock and four from cbs is reporting that dan snyder will most likely flip this in the future and bring on some new investors how did we really get to this point where Snyder and his family are now in total control of the organization. It started last July. The three minority owners, Shaw, Rothman, and Smith, were concerned on the direction of the team, and they decided to make moves, allegedly, got to put that in uh, parentheses there, that they were going to make moves to force Dan Snyder to sell this team. And if you know Daniel M. Period Snyder, he is a man rooted in his way of thinking. He was not going to back down. He was going to fight and claw. And pretty much that's what he did. He stood up to Dwight, excuse me, not Dwight Smith, but Fred Smith, who forced him to change the name. And he was like, no, I'm not going to change it. Then Dw uh, Smith, I keep on saying Dwight, Smith attacked him where it hurt the most, in his wallet. And they sent out letters. There was a group of investors, about 87 of them, I believe, that sent letters to Pepsi, Nike, and FedEx to say, do no more business with the then Washington Redskins unless they change your name because of the undertones of it. Now, that got attention, and Washington retired the name. And they go on. This has been a fight with him and Dwight Schwar as well with some extortion that Snyder is claiming. So it's really interesting to see how far this had eroded in really less than a year. But now he's a big man on campus. Once again, it is Mr. Snyder's team totally. So it'll be interesting to see who he gets to be new investor or investors. Not really sure at this point. But if you look at this overall situation, yes, Snyder lost the name debate. We knew that was coming. I don't think we're going to go back. He's not going to rescind on what he's done. And you never know, this may be part of the punishment that the Belt Wilkinson investigation or recommendations might be. It might already be in full effect. That's just speculation. I can't confirm that. But at the end of the day, Dan Snyder wins. Don't get it twisted. This man won. He won a huge battle. Yes, he had 60% controlling interests along with his family. But these were some behemoths. The reason why they were minority owners to begin with Dan took a financial hit when he went and bought the team back in 1999. So it's it's basically come full circle for him. A lot of his equity is locked up and wealth is locked up in the team. So hopefully that Dan Snyder is now in control. He does not go back to 
the ways of the past. That is a key concern. I know a lot of people are disappointed. I never thought that Dan Snyder was going to be forced to sell this team. There are too many skeletons in the closet of a lot of these owners, things we can't even fathom. And we've seen it on a micro level with Robert Kraft, uh, uh, Richardson, Jerry Richardson down there in, in Carolina. We've seen it. So I think there are some skeletons. Dan Snyder, that's why the, t the league let him get away with this debt waiver. Don't get it twisted, like I said. It's going to be very interesting to see going forward how he reacts and how he acts. Will he make a public appearance? Who knows? But this was huge. Dan Snyder is, isn't is going anywhere. I, I, I hate to tell folks who thought this was going to happen. But what do you think? Is this a good idea? Bad idea? Will Dan Snyder be doing more of the same? Or has he turned over official leaf, a new leaf with hires of Ron Rivera, Julie Donaldson, Jason Wright, amongst others to help put this franchise back on the path to respectability. And do you think he will go back on the name change? I don't think so because you spend a lot of money getting this all geared up and everything like that. So we will see, as always. I am Sanchez405. I appreciate everything y'all do to help this channel grow, and I love you for it. As always, love, peace, and hail, and I'll be talking to you real soon. I'm out!